Hello YouTube, this is Piper2381 and for this video I'm showing you the final issue of Nintendo Power Magazine. Um, this issue was released on Tuesday, December the 11th, 2012. And it's a really sad day because I grew up reading this magazine and at one point I was even a subscriber during the mid to late 90s. So I, I pretty much grew up with this magazine. Um, as you can see, the final issue uh, pays homage to the first issue which had Mario and Bowser in the back. So it's a really nice way to finish off the Nintendo Power Story, I guess. Um, so let me just show you the magazine up close now. It comes packaged in plastic because there's a poster inside. So it's very important to make sure that nobody steals it. So There it is. And now I'll just open this up. Okay. Here's the magazine. And um, ba -ba -ba. I'll start with the poster first. So at the very top and center you have Nintendo Power and then the date of its birth and its death 1988 to 2012 and then what a wonderful poster I mean it just shows you all the magazines that have been released throughout the years from the first one to the final one. So this is the final one and then the first one, the first issue. Um, unfortunately, I never did own the first issue, um, but I've seen it so many times that I do recognize it. Of course, it's very popular. So I'll just, Try to go real quick through these issues. I mean, even though I didn't own own them, um, you get a lot of great memories because, I mean, there's so much pop culture references and um, cartoons I grew up watching that you gotta love this. Um, so over here you have the Ninja Turtles, then Ducktales, Batman. Then Super Mario Brothers, uh, Rescue Rangers, amazing show. Mega Man, I was never a fan, but I'm sure a lot of people are. Super Mario World on the Super Nintendo. I never owned the Super Nintendo. Um, I was a Sega. Uh, fan at that point, but I did appreciate it and I did play it uh, at friends houses um, Duck and duck another great show Street Fighter Felix the cat uh, Looney Tunes oh and the Adams family Batman again I don't want to make this a long video, but this is just amazing just to go through each of one of these magazines. Aladdin, really good game. Of course, uh, Ken Griffey Jr. I love that game. <laughs> and then Donkey Kong, amazing graphics. Earthworm Jim, loved that game. I played it so many times. Kirby, mm, Killer Instinct, yeah, Earthworm Jim 2, Ken Griffey Jr., and then you start to see um, magazines devoted to I guess um, the N64. So 
I skipped the Super Nintendo, but I did get the N64. Um, I, I bought the magazine just before the N64 came out, when I think it was still called the Nintendo Dolphin. Code name, something like that. Um, so, I love the Nintendo 64, so that was uh, one of my best memories. And I think around this time, that's when I started to subscribe to the magazine. Star Wars. Mario Kart 64. Two Rock. Wow. Of course, classic games. Star Fox, Star Fox 64. Um... GoldenEye, the best game for me. <laughs> um, Brett Favre uh, for football game. Yoshi Story. Or, um, there was a long anticipation for that game, but I never liked it. Eh, it was too easy to beat. Then WCW, NWO. Who didn't watch wrestling at that point? Um, 1080. Kobe Bryant, of course, Ken Griffey Jr., Banjo-Kazooie, amazing game, Zelda, boy, that, I think that's one of the greatest games ever, I even bought the Player's Guide, loved that game, And then Pikachu came out with Pokemon um, on the N64. I'm not sure if it was earlier for the Game Boy. But that's when I started to move away from gaming. Um, unfortunately, uh, I lost a lot of uh, years of playing good games, but I just wasn't interested anymore. Majora's Mask. Yep. Yeah, all these games I, I stopped playing around here. So I stopped subscribing. And then around here, I guess you got the GameCube coming out. I still need to play this game. Luigi's Mansion. Sonic. So I'll just go a little faster now. And then uh, over here you start to see the Wii come out. Um, I did buy the Wii. Um, I loved certain games, but for, for the most part, um, there weren't that many. I wasn't a fan of moving my hand around to play a game. It got a little tiring, but I mean, the system was worth it just to play Mario Galaxy. There you go. Mario Galaxy. Really good memories. And the final part of the magazine. Um, the 3DS. Icarus. I used to play that game a lot on the Game Boy. The Wii U. And then back to the final game. The final, haha, <laughs> the final magazine. So, that's it. That's all the magazines that have come out in one poster. Really nice. Okay, so now I will show you the magazine. At the top of the front 
cover, you have Nintendo Power, and then Bowser's flag, a poster inside, Mario in claymation form, really well done. Then you have stuff about what the issue is about, New Super Mario Brothers U, the greatest games of all time, final issue, 25 years of NP history. At the bottom you have the source for Nintendo players straight from the pros. Um, this magazine I bought in Canada, so it was $6.99. Uh, very expensive. I guess that's one of the reasons why they had to shut down the magazine, because uh, magazines are getting expensive. I'll show you the back. It's just a ad for Tank 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 on the Wii U. I'll show you the side. Now, when I was a, a subscriber, they used to have like, uh, I guess, a drawing on the side. So at the end of the year, you would form like a picture of something. But over here, you just have Nintendo Power, Final Issue, and December 12, uh, December 2012. So that's the front. Now I'll show you inside of the magazine. Really nice pictures. I'll have to read all of this. And an end of an era. I used to love reading all of these articles or letters that were submitted to the magazine. I guess this way would be better. Uh, Nintendo Power's all-time favorite games list. Um... I'll go down to the top 10. Resident Evil 4, number nine. The Legend of Zelda, The Wind Walk Waker. Super Metroid, Super Mario Brothers 3. Um, that should have been number one. <laughs> Mega Man 2, Super Mario World. Final Fantasy 3. Super Mario Galaxy and number one or no number two I'm sorry number two is The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past so I'll show you number one now The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time you know what I can't disagree with this um, list this was one of the best games I've ever played I played it for hours and days and years practically it was so immense and so large and so many things to do it was it was never boring so i mean i do agree it's number one although uh i would have preferred super mario brothers uh, at three as number two on this list but i love this game so I i'm not angry but i will have to read their reasons why 
I'll just continue now. Uh, great moments in power. Nintendo Power Magazine, of course. Very good stuff. Ninety-six. I must have read this mag, this issue, a dozen times. I loved the game, Super Mario sixty-four. Maybe that should have been number one as well. Hmm. Pretty hard to decide which is the best game ever, but Super Mario sixty-four was a large game. Um. Yeah. So I don't know. I guess they're really. You it's you really can't make a list. I mean, they're all good games. There's so many games on the N64. And The Legend of Zelda, Symphony of the Goddesses, the dates. Game Boy Color. Pokemon craze. Luigi's Mansion. GameCube. I'm sorry to say I didn't buy it. I will buy it one day though. The DS. The Wii U, or just the Wii, I'm sorry, the Wii. 2007. Miyamoto, of course. Just a funny picture. <laughs> Almost looks like GTA. Speaking of GTA, Omaha Steaks. Hmm, I don't remember that game. Bowser. I never thought I would see Sonic in a Nintendo gaming system, but. Too bad for Sega. I was a fan for a while though. Power players. Um, Nintendo Power Editors, past and present, recall their favorite memories of the magazine. Should be fun to read. Oh, love that game, Conquer's Bad Fur Day. If anybody hasn't played it, go pick it up. And then, of course, the reviews of video games. Um, even though it is a, mag a magazine about uh, from Nintendo, I always like their honesty about in their reviews. Um, I mean, before the internet. It was the best thing you had to go on about if a game is good or bad. Although they did screw me with Yoshi's story. They used to say it was amazing, but I hated that game. So, just the regular games.
Assassin's Creed 3. I'm glad that we now have some uh, PS3 uh, Xbox games on the Nintendo franchise. Uh, or gaming system, sorry. So, uh, you know, I'm glad about that. Although I would have preferred if they released 1, 2, and 3. But that's another issue. Of course, the enemy of print media, digital media. Readers. And then a nice cartoon at the back. Oh, that's sad. Game over. Thank you for reading. So, that was the issue. The final issue of Nintendo Power. Um, it's really sad. But, I haven't been reading it for a long time. So, uh, I mean, I wish people would have supported it, but... It had to happen. It would have happened eventually because everyone's reading uh, on the internet and stuff like that. So uh, that's it for this video. Um, I will have pictures online. Just follow the links to my blog if you want to see them. And um, I'll see you guys next time.